Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charles Tulip and today we are playing Planet Zoo again. So my goal today is to earn a gold star in this uh, park here, the Myers Animal Entertainment Park. And in order to do that, we need to power everything in the zoo with renewable energy for 12 months. We're at 10 months right now. And we need to house four different species in a single habitat. We need to adopt and place the two Himalayan brown bears, and we need to adopt and place the rescue animals, which there are five of those. So in the animal trading room right here, I have some species that I think will go together to fit four animals in a single enclosure. So we can put the African buffalo, the zebras, and the sable antelope with the springbok that are already in the zoo. And then we also need to place these Himalayan brown bears, these Nile monitors, and the ring-tailed lemurs. So I have some plans for how we're going to do that. So I think I actually want to start with the Nile monitors, and I want to see if we can uh, fit them in this enclosure here. I'm going to build an enclosure here so that they will have access to this pool of water because if I remember right we actually can't edit the terrain in this zoo so <clears throat> I think it would be best to put the Nile monitors over here so that they have access to this water and um okay let's start by building a barrier and I think I want to go with um Let's take a look at what else is used in the zoo here. Okay, so I just want to uh, check this. Okay, uh, Dominic just came on here and said we got some ring-tailed lemurs, but I think that was kind of a delayed message because we already got those ring-tailed lemurs. So in the Garial habitat, there's actually glass on the front here and concrete on the sides. So I think we could do something similar over here. So if we get the barriers, let's find the glass. And I guess we'll just draw this across the front here. And those last few looked a little crooked, so let's just try that again. Okay, and look, that's awesome. We just got the uh, power everything in the zoo with renewable energy. We just got that goal completed. Okay, so that's perfect. And then I think that we will use the concrete, if I can find it, concrete, for the sides of the exhibit here. And then let's actually draw it back like that. And then I, I'm going to try to use the null barrier here. And hopefully this kind of structure that they're in will keep them in. If not, we can replace this with concrete later. Okay, and let's draw it straight down here. And then I think we'll switch back to concrete. Okay, and let's just pull that out to make a right angle. Okay, and then we also need a door here. And I uh, let's check the Zoopedia for the Nile monitor. Okay, so their boundary requirement is only 1.65 feet. 
So I think we could get away with one of these. And I just saw a notification that the mandrels are fighting. Okay, one of our pronghorn antelope died and the mandrels are over here. Okay, so let's just move that one to animal storage. And okay, she was injured. That's not good. Okay, I think we can connect that path right there. And let's get our Nile monitors out of storage. So we have two. And I want to send them to quarantine. Okay, good. And let's actually edit this barrier because this only needs to be 1.65 feet. Okay. That is actually the lowest I can edit it. And all the concrete in this zoo, all the concrete barriers have some sort of fun color on them. Like these ones are blue, these ones are pink. So I want to do something like that over here. So we'll just um, grab this concrete and then I think we can change the color here. So we could make it orange. I kind of like the yellow. Okay, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we'll make those yellow. And then we could also get some signs in here. Um, yeah, maybe one of these. And we'll put a speaker there as well. Um, did I place that backwards? Oh, okay. I thought that was facing backwards. Okay, awesome. Our Nile monitors just passed quarantine. So let's move them over to their new exhibit. And we'll call this Nile monitors. Nile monitor. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Two of our Springbok just died as well. We only have two pronghorn antelope and we have three spring box. So let's actually check the animal market and see if we can get some more. Pronghorn antelope. Okay, we'll send her to quarantine. And then spring box. Yeah, we'll send her to quarantine as well. Okay, and where are the Nile monitors? Here they are. Okay. Um... Okay, awesome. The terrain in here is actually good for them. And it looks like maybe this is counting as their shelter already. So let's just check if they can escape. Okay, that looks perfect, actually. And I saw the mandrels are fighting again. So we'll move 
move her to the Trade Center. Okay, and then we can set up this sign. Okay, so let's go to the habitat category and we will um, filter this by Nile monitors. So let's make sure they have some food in here. And I think we could go with the big one actually. Okay, they should be able to drink the water that they have. And we could fit one of these in here. Okay, and then let's get some enrichment items so we can get the rubber duck, a ball, ice ball, and some sprinklers. Okay, and one of the mandrels is about to inbreed, so let's just check on that. And I think it's this one. Okay, so we we did get this goal, two out of five, adopt and place the rescue animals. Um, and let's just finish setting up their enclosure, actually. So I want to get some plants in here. Um, that would be in nature. So let's sort this by Africa and then um, we have grassland, tropical, and aquatic. So I'm thinking let's stick with the grassland plants. Okay, this is kind of a big tree. Um... Let's actually change out this tree and we'll put this one instead. It's a little hard to see in the dark. Okay. Um, let's, um, let's just take care of the zoo real quick because I am getting so many notifications. Okay, so it looks like our pronghorn antelope can go over here and we'll call a vet over here. We'll call a vet over here. Okay, there's a lot of pea fowl in there. And uh, let's move that guy to storage. Okay, and I'm just wondering what happened to our other springbok. Um, okay, we can release this guy to the wild. And this one okay so it looks like the pea fowl are having some kind of disease outbreak again oh and here is our other springbok actually
And let's just call Zookeeper over there as well. Okay, this zoo is actually so beautiful at night. All the different colored lights are really cool. But it is just a little hard to see when I'm decorating over here. Um, so let's just select one of these Nile monitors and it looks like we're at 6% coverage right now. So we could fit a few more plants in here for sure. Um, red poppies. Yeah, we could go with some of these. And I'm just looking at all the plant choices here. An olive tree. Okay, it's finally morning. Um, let's get some plants right next to the water's edge over here. So I think I want, that's a really big tree. Wow. Okay. We could go with some of this elephant grass. And let's actually fit some rocks in here too. Just a few. I want to make sure they can still get into the water. Um, common reeds. And we can, um, okay, so I have to change this to align to water so that we can see these here. Okay, and um, maybe some of these bushes. We are getting a little close to the limit for how many plants they like. Oh, palm tree. Um, maybe I'll just put a few of these outside. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that looks nice. And these are pretty too. We'll just get a couple of those. Okay, and let's uh, just check with the Nile monitors. Okay, so we're at 24% coverage and I think that looks nice. All right, so that is our Nile monitors moved in. Okay, and the mandrills are fighting again. And so are the Indian rhinoceros. So as far as the other animals, we do have some space back here. I think, so even though this is kind of outside the walls of the zoo, I was able to fit a path through here. And I think we could fit definitely the brown bears and maybe we'll do a larger exhibit for our four animal species out there. 
and then the other idea that I had was to actually split the mandrill enclosure in two. Uh, split it right in half and put ring-tailed lemurs on one side of it. So yeah, I think that covers, um, if we get all those placed, I think that will cover the rest of the requirements for gold for this zoo. So let's work on that. And I actually want to start by just splitting this exhibit in half. So I'm going to go with the electric fence this time. And I think if we get it right about there, then we can split this in half. And then we'll have to go in here to see where this is. Okay, so let's kind of let's kind of aim for the middle there, and maybe it will just have to go like that. Okay, and let's actually replace these two with glass. And I think if we just move that to the middle, it will look a little bit nicer. Okay, so now it's telling us that the mandrills have escaped. Um, and you can see all the people running out of the zoo. <laughs> but they're not escaped, they're just, well, they're in the other enclosure right now. Okay, so, yeah, let's... Let's just em emergency capture these. I think there was only two mandrills on that side. Another one of our pronghorn antelope died. That's very sad. Okay, and then um, I'm just looking for somewhere to put the door for this other enclosure. I think we could get it probably right about here. Okay, so that is our, this will be for the ring-tailed lemurs. Okay, and it looks like all of our mandrills got carried back over here. So before we move the ring-tailed lemurs in, I'm just going to move this slightly because it's going through the glass wall right now. So if we put it right there, I think that looks nice. And I'm just having a little trouble getting the camera in here. Okay. And it looks like they do have a water bowl in here. I want to actually replace this with the water fountain. See if that can fit in here. Maybe not. We'll just stick with the water bowl right there. Um, but hopefully we can put this back here. Okay, and then they also have their food platform on this side, so let's move that over. Okay, and let's just click on one of these mandrills. Um, so let's actually filter this by species and look for more enrichment items. 
it doesn't look like we have very many enrichment items for the mandrills. But we can fit this roller feeder and a couple of these grab balls. Okay, that helped a little bit, a little bit with their enrichment. Okay, so let's get the ring-tailed lemurs out of storage. And it looks like we have three girls. Okay, I thought there might be a male on the market here, but it looks like there's not. And I just saw a giraffe in the market here, so I kind of want to get that. Okay, that was about half our conservation credits. <laughs> okay, maybe if we change the vet to visit here every three months will have less disease outbreaks, I'm not sure. Yeah, this problem always happens with the Indian peafowl. There is just a lot in here and it's not a very big enclosure, I guess. Okay, wow, the 13 of them <laughs> have diseases right now. We, um, hmm. I'm trying to see where else we have room in the zoo because we might be able to fit the brown bears up here, for example. Okay, it looks like uh, two of our lemurs passed quarantine. Okay, I'm not sure why it's it's not giving me the option to move these ring-tailed lemurs. Um, but we can work on their habitat a little bit. So let's sort this again by um, ring-tailed lemur. There they are. And let's make sure they have food in in here. Okay, and we'll get a water fountain in here too. And we can have this, the block of ice, uh, the rubber duck, A sprinkler, another sprinkler, and the ball of ice. I'm not sure they need that. Okay. Um, 
Okay, all three of them passed quarantine. Okay, am I going crazy or there used to be a button right here that said move them? <laughs> um. You know what? Let's hire some more vets. Just a couple more. To take care of this pee file problem. There's just so many babies in here. Wow. Okay. I'm not getting any kind of option on these ring-tailed lemurs. How am I supposed to move them out of here? Quarantine complete. Okay, well, let's adopt a boy and send him to quarantine, too. And now we have African buffaloes, we have a common warthog, we have zebras, and a giraffe. And, all of, and the sable antelope. All of those can go in the same enclosure, I believe. Okay, I don't know why this button is not appearing right now. I'm just going to save my zoo real quick. And back out to the main menu. When we reload this, hopefully it will work and we'll be able to move the lemurs around. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, there's the button to move them. <laughs> wow, was I blind before? Or was that really not appearing? Let's move them in here. Okay, and I see someone running. And actually, is there any signs? Um, I don't see any signs out here. So I guess we could put one out here. Okay, awesome. So we have adopted and placed all the rescue animals. So let's just check how they're doing in here. Okay, we could use a little bit less sand. Um, everything else looks good, I think. Okay, and they actually have enough climbing space, but I kind of did want to get another climbing structure in here. So 
let's sort this again. So ring-tailed lemur and um okay, this is kind of big actually. I think maybe if we just got a couple of these pieces. Okay, so they have a little bit more climbing space in there now. And it looks like our male ringtail lemur has also passed quarantine. So let's just put a sign out here so people know what they're looking at. Um, that's going to be in facilities. And if we choose align to surface, we should be able to put it on this wall. Okay, very nice. And let's also get a speaker right there for the ringtail lemur. And if we go inside here, I wonder why the path is different colors here. Huh, I wonder how they did that actually. Okay, and let's just change this one so it also shows the ring-tailed lemur. And I think there's a speaker. Oh, it's an ambient speaker. Jungle and night. Okay, I don't usually use those. And there's security cameras right there. Interesting. Look at all the mandrills in here. Okay, I think that looks really nice. The other thing we could do is uh, maybe put some more plants in here. Oh yeah, okay. So let's... Uh, sort this uh, for biome, we'll go with tropical, and then for continent, Africa. Okay, I want to get a few of these. And uh, maybe some of the tree ferns. And then probably some palm trees. That looks nice right there. And I believe they can climb the palm trees as well. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, actually, I don't think we need that one. Okay. And if we can find a ringtail lemur. Oh, look, he's running up here. Look at how cute that is. Let's check the heat map to see where they can go. Okay, that looks good, actually. So, I don't know if the ring-tailed lemurs can't swim, but the, the water here is highlighted white. So, I think that means that they can't swim. Because they should be able to go to the water and drink it, I think. Okay, and so next we need to house four different species in a single habitat 
and increase the welfare to 80% and then adopt and place the two Himalayan brown bears. So let's work on that. And I just want to continue this path out here. Um, it looks like it's this one here. Okay, we'll do something like that. And let's go back to barriers and grab the electric fence. Um, since we're putting a giraffe in here, let's see how tall that needs to be actually. 6.65 feet. I think we could get it a little closer to the path. Okay, and that should be enough room for them. Something like that. Okay, um, there's a little bit of a slope up in the back of the habitat here. So we can fix that. But let's get a door. And while I'm thinking about it, I want to put another a keeper hut over here. Um, Indian keeper hut. Wow, look at that. That is very cute. Let's just get the large one. And we'll change that to a staff path right there. Okay, so we'll name this Mixed Savanna. And um, let's edit this barrier. So Okay, well, let's just put it up to something like that, and we'll, we'll grab these pieces in the back and make these ones taller. Okay, something like that. And let's see how big this is actually. Okay, I think that's plenty of room. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is move the springbok over here because I don't think that springbok should be housed with pronged horn antelope. That doesn't really make sense to me. And maybe we could get um, some more pronghorn antelope. Let's see if there are any on the mar on the market. Oops. Pronghorn antelope. And we'll just start sending these animals to quarantine. Okay, so we have two African buffaloes. We have the common warthog. 
we have the zebras and we have the giraffe and the sable antelope. So let's send all of those to quarantine. Okay, um, I guess we don't need that sign anymore. That sign was for the spring block, but we just moved them. Okay, the peafowl are having another disease outbreak. Whoa, I just saw a lemur jumping from way up here onto this bridge. That was super cool. This is really cool how all the staff buildings are built into this little building right here. I mean, this looks so cool. There's the vet surgery, the quarantine, and the trade center all right here. Okay, it looks like our pronghorn antelope passed quarantine. One of our zebras has a disease. So let's move them over here since they passed. Oh no, the giraffe was injured. Let's see if we can get a girl giraffe. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any on the market right now. We also have this warthog, but I think the animals we have picked out are a little cooler. The warthog is also a savanna animal, so it can also go in there with them. But I only have one, and I think we already have five animals, actually, that are going in there, five different species. Okay, nice. 300 conservation credits for that mandrill. And it looks like the other three animals are waiting for surgery. So let's take a look at how these animals are doing. Okay, here they are. There's the springbok. We have an African buffalo, we have a zebra, we have a sable antelope. Okay, and they need more um, short grass in here. And now we need more soil. Oh, 
Okay, that looks good to me. We need a shelter in here. So let's actually look for the giraffe shelter because that will be the biggest. Um, oh, it's uh, called a reticulated giraffe. There it is. Okay, and this is barely even gonna fit in here. Okay, let's just uh, make this, edit this barrier actually. And uh, pause the game before they all escape. Okay, and this doesn't need to be quite so tall back here. Oh no, this <laughs> this giraffe shelter is totally floating. Okay, let's just move this down a little bit. Because it doesn't look like that. That should be fine, and hopefully the giraffes can still fit under there. And let's let's check if there's a female giraffe, actually. It doesn't look like it. Okay, but our other three animals did pass quarantine, so we can get them over here. We can definitely get a water bowl in here. And maybe two of those, actually. Okay, the giraffes need this feeder. And we could fit some bedding in their shelter here. And let's get some sprinklers. Okay, and let's just start going through these animals one by one and making sure they all have their enrichment items in here and their food dishes. The mandrills are fighting again. So let's move him to the Trade Center. Oh, again. Oh, I just saw that uh, notification pop up again that the mandrels were fighting, but I think I took care of that already. Um, but let's call a vet over here because one of them did get injured. Oh, look, there's our giraffe. Okay, and I just want to get all of these enrichment items in here. Okay, what else do we have in here? 
We have the African buffalo. We have the zebra. Okay, I think we already got both of those. Um, yeah, and what kind of food do they need? So maybe we'll get another one of those. Okay, the giraffe, we have sable antelope. Okay, not very much enrichment options for them. And let's check on the springbok. Okay, so it looks like for most of them, they just have this grab ball and the grazing ball feeder. So let's actually get another one of those in there. Okay, and maybe we'll put some trees in. And before we do that, I just want to check the, uh, okay, so the draft can fit under most of the shelter here. That's good. And, oh, there's just kind of some bumps in the train over there. Okay, and we're doing good actually because we need to increase the overall welfare to 80% and right now it's at 79. So I think if we just place some plants in here and I'd rather sort this by the grassland biome I think if we just get some plants in here, then we will be doing good. So let's get a few of these. Oh, and I'll turn random rotation back on. The sausage tree. Let's get a couple of those. And the red poppies. Okay, I totally put that one on top of the fence. Okay, I'm getting a lot of notifications right now. Um, I actually want one of these huge trees in here. Yeah, and maybe we'll just get rid of that one. Okay, and what else am I looking for? Red poppies. Maybe a couple of these smaller trees. And um, that's actually looking pretty good as far as trees go. Okay, it looks like we're still at 79% over here. So let's just check on all these animals to see which one we can improve. Probably the giraffe. Okay, the giraffe actually wants a friend.
we can get another spring box. So let's send her to quarantine. And I don't think there's any drafts on the market right now. That was kind of rare that I even found this one, so. The stable antelope are doing good. And the springbok, yeah, it's the same problem here. Too few adults in the animal social group. Okay, many guests think tickets are underpriced, so we can definitely raise the price. 32 and 28. And how are we doing on space over here? Okay, so we actually have plenty of space for all these animals. Um, the zebras would like a little more long grass. So maybe we could get some of that. This, these poppies are floating in the fence too. Okay, let's just move those real quick. And we already have a baby zebra on the way. How cute. I think the giraffe is the one with the lowest um, welfare here. Okay, there's another male giraffe. Um, okay, and let's get, uh, let's get a male pronghorn antelope as well. We can send these to the quarantine. Okay, let's just uh, move some of these pea fowl to the Trade Center, because there's a lot in there. And maybe we can release some of these to the wild. Okay, so only 24 conservation credits for that. Okay, now I think the last thing we have to do is to adopt and place the two Himalayan brown bears. And I'm going to keep this open to the giraffe page to see if we can get a female giraffe. And I think we'll put the brown bears right here. So let's grab the electric fence again.
Okay, let's see how much space that is. That looks like plenty. And we'll check the Zoopedia. So, uh, brown bear, Himalayan brown bear. Okay, grade four climb proof over 6.65 6 feet. Is the electric fence climb proof? Not climbable while powered. Okay. I think we have power out here. Oh, we don't. Okay, so let's get another wind turbine. And we'll just place it back here. And let's make sure this barrier is tall enough. Okay, and it looks like maybe we just need to pull this one up a little bit. Um, let's try this way. Okay, so we um, passed quarantine. That one's a pronghorn antelope. This one's a springbok. And let's get our brown bears in quarantine. So we have two. And there's a notification up here that the tape bear are fighting, actually. Okay, and both of our female zebras are expecting offspring. Wow. Okay, there's still only a male giraffe on the market. So let's also, um, let's put a fun color on this barrier here. And maybe we could go with green. Um, okay, that's kind of fun. Okay, it looks like our male pronghorn antelope passed quarantine. And I just want to check how the springbok are doing, actually. Okay, this one is stressed. So that is going to bring our <laughs> overall welfare way down. And one of the brown bears passed quarantine. So we're just waiting on the other one. Okay, let's move them over here. And we'll call this um, brown bears. One of our, our Bengal tiger died. Okay, let's get a new Bengal tiger in here.
Oh, we just got another objective. The adopt and place two Himalayan brown bears. Okay, so the last thing we have to work on is getting the welfare to 80% in this savanna habitat. And I was just looking at this one. This one springbok is having a lot of trouble hiding from all the people here. So I was just wondering if we should actually replace this with a one-way glass. Uh, while we're thinking about that, let's set up the brown bear's habitat. Okay, so we'll get some water for them, a uh, food tray, and they're going to need a shelter. So let's see, actually, maybe this one. And we can get the block of ice and maybe a couple of these that they can climb on. Our Bengal tiger passed quarantine. Okay. And it looks like maybe the vet... Oh, the vet just got here. Okay. Only two peafowl still have diseases. <laughs> so... Um, okay, so we're back to 78% for this habitat here. I think if we get the female giraffe in here, I think we'll be doing good. So let's finish setting up the uh, brown bear's habitat, actually. So they need less long grass. What do they want more of? They want, oh, they want snow, actually. So we're going to need to get a cooler in here. Okay, I, I painted the snow here. It's finally showing up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that actually fixed their terrain. And we could get some trees in here. So, uh, this time we're sorting by Asia, and let's go with taiga, the taiga biome. Okay, we could get some of these flowers for sure. And some pine trees. And yeah, let's get some of these. And maybe a smaller one of that. Oh, let's get some of this moss in here. Okay, I just put that on the fence again. <laughs> Mm, 
It looks like it's raining. Oh, wow, it's raining hard. And we'll just finish it with some of this flower. Okay, so let's see. Okay, that looks good for them. Okay, so I'm actually gonna, I'm just gonna, um, pull this giraffe out of here and see, okay, our springbok, so how many species do we have in here now? We only have four. This springbok is also having trouble hiding. I don't know why only this one is. Okay, she's finally going in the shelter. And her welfare is going up slowly. If we could just get this last one to complete, we'll get the gold star. And I think the giraffe was really negatively affecting it because um, he didn't have a friend giraffe. So the other springbok is at 94% welfare. What if we just uh, put the springbok inside the shelter? I don't know why one springbok is having problems and the other one isn't. Ta-da! There's our gold star. Okay, so Dominic just said we are going to Brazil. And I guess all I had to do was move the spring back into the shelter. The spring box just had to be in the shelter. And she finally, her welfare went up. Okay. Um, it looks like there's still only a male giraffe here. Let's just move this guy back into the... Make Savannah. I wish I could have achieved that with the giraffe in there, but it was just a little too tricky to find a female giraffe. And many guests think the tickets are underpriced, so let's raise that a little bit.
Okay. And once this giraffe gets here, we'll actually save this zoo. And I think we'll start on the next one, which is, I've taken a look at it. It's in a quarry, actually. So like a rock mine. That's what it looks like. And it's in the rainforest. So I haven't really started on that one yet, but I think we can start that today. Okay, let's just see if we can get this giraffe back. And there it is. There we go. Okay, so let's save this zoo. And before we get into the next zoo, I'm just going to take a quick break. So I will see you guys in a minute. Be right back. See you soon. guys i'm back so um here is the next zoo right here the myers rainforest conservation project Okay, so this one says there's something in the air at the site of the brand new Myers Rainforest Conservation Project, but it's not excitement and it smells really bad. It's difficult enough building a zoo from the ground up, but in this case you'll be starting from well below ground in a disused quarry. And as it's a new zoo, you can expect plenty of teething problems. But as Dominic might say, you're just the dummy to placate them. 
Okay, so it looks like we got some reward animals right away. And we need a trade center in order to open that up. Okay, and we'll just dismiss those. So adopt and place the rescue animals. There's four found in the reward section of the animal trading and have at least 350 guests in the zoo. So actually I did take a look at all of these and I noticed that in the silver, we need to build a suspended gondola transport ride. Now I don't have a lot of experience building the tracked rides in Planet Zoo. So I thought we'd leave plenty of space for that. And I thought that at least the entrance for that could go right over here. So with that in mind, I want to put the, um, all the staff buildings over on this side. And I think if we just get a path going right here, it probably doesn't need to be that wide. And let's grab the staff path actually. We could um, bring that up and that looks a little too high. So let's bring that down again. Okay, and we'll kind of just build it straight back like that. So now let's look at our facilities to see what we need. So let's get the Trade Center in here first. Where is that Trade Center? And then we need a quarantine. And we're also going to need a vet surgery. Okay, that looks fine. And we need a staff room for sure. And the keeper hut will place that a little closer to the animal exhibits wherever we put those. Vet surgery, research center, workshop, trade center. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, now we can take a look at our reward animals. So we have a snow leopard, two snow leopards, and two okapi. Okay, so let's get those in quarantine, I guess. And apparently all four of them have a life-threatening disease. Okay, so in this zoo, we actually can edit the terrain. Um, let's think about where a good spot would be for the snow leopards and the okapi. I also did build a path around here, just this natural path. So we kind of have something to work off of here. I guess we're going to need some staff to take care of those animals. Okay, so we'll get a couple of caretakers, a couple of keepers, a mechanic, and a vet. Okay, now they're moving the animals to quarantine. I don't know if this path needs to be so high right here. I'm going to see if I can rework that a little bit. So... Okay, and let's just move these plants so they're not right in the path. 
That's a nice dead tree. Okay, that looks a little better. Okay, and with that, I think we could definitely fit an exhibit right here and a, an exhibit right here. So let's pick out a barrier. And I kind of wanted to use the electric fence and the concrete again, but it looks like those are not options here. So maybe if we go with this corrugated fence. Let's start building that. And I'm not sure how big this is going to be, really. So we'll just have to check the size after I build it. Okay, and let's actually, yeah, we can fit that, fit it just like that. Okay, we'll get a habitat gate, maybe right about there. And let's connect that to the path. And then we should be able to fit our keeper hut in here too. Yeah, maybe right there. Okay, so let's actually look at the Zoopedia for Okapi. And, okay, so these actually live in Africa in the tropical region. It looks like for two, we're gonna need 12,000 square feet. This right here is double that size, so that's great. And they only need a grade two above 4.125 feet for the boundary. Okay, uh, it looks like one of our go copies passed quarantine. And we still have two that have a life-threatening disease. Okay. Um, let's make sure we have some windows in here so people can see the Okabi. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we'll get another barrier over here for the snow leopards. Oh, let's do this with the curve, actually. Okay, and I'm not sure I want it to come that far forward, so let's actually turn this now. Okay, and one more segment. 
Awesome. So let's get the gate up here. Okay, I think all four animals pass quarantine and I just wanted to check this is not climbable. Okay, look at that. We've got some people in the zoo and we have no animals here. Already 300 people. That's crazy. There's no animals to see yet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see how big this one is. Okay, that's about the same size. So this will be for the snow leopards. And this will be for the okapi. Let's move the okapi in first. Okay, many guests think the tickets are overpriced. I think we could go up to $9 and um, let's go with four. Okay, and our keeper hut doesn't have any power. I just saw that. So we need the utilities and we're gonna need a transformer. Maybe we can stick it back here actually. Okay, nice. And I want to get some, oh, let's check the Zoopedia for the snow leopards. Grade 2 climb proof over 9.9 .9 feet. And it looks like we probably actually don't need that much room for the snow leopards, but we can always make their habitat a little smaller later if we have more animals to fit. So let's put some windows there, and let's also put some windows up here. And we'll just edit this so it is 9.9 .9 feet. Okay. Okay, look at that, the Okapi are here. Okay, so, um, and while we're here, actually, let's hire another zookeeper. Oh, I already got two zookeepers. Okay, that should be plenty, actually. Okay, and then we can move our snow leopards in. And that should give us the bronze star as soon as we get 350 guests in the zoo, and we are almost there. Okay, let's set up the Okapi habitat. Um. Oh, copy right there. Okay, so we'll get a, a food trough for them and a water fountain. They're going to need a shelter. So maybe we can fit that up here. And let's just go with some hay in here. And we don't have any un enrichment unlocked for them. And I just got a notification that there are no security cards, so let's hire a security guard. Okay, so we have Adopt and Place the Rescue Animals, all four of them. Um, let's check on the plant coverage in here. And actually, before we do that, I just want to make sure the snow leopards have food and water. So let's also, uh, let's also look at that. Okay, snow leopard.
And we'll get a shelter for them also. Maybe that one. And it looks like the only enrichment we have for these guys is climbing. So, um... I have random rotation turned on. There we go. And maybe some of these logs. And we could put uh, a couple of these platforms in. We'll just make it look like these are kind of being supported. Okay, I don't mind that. Okay, it looks like... Oh, now they think the tickets are overpriced. Uh, so let's put that back down to six, and we'll put this one at two. It looks like the snow leopards are also going to need some coolers in here. So let's get one back there. Okay, we'll get like four in there. Okay. The zoo does look a little bit sad being in this rock quarry, but it's kind of interesting too. Let's uh, check on the Okapi again. So I want to fix their terrain. It looks like they need more short grass. Oh no. Oh no, a snow leopard escaped. How did it do that? Um. Oh, the other one just jumped out too. Okay. Whoops. I guess uh, maybe if we... Okay. Um, just like those. And move that a little farther back from the fence. I think that's how they jumped out. Okay, so we'll look at the terrain over here. They need more soil, actually. And there's too much sand. They need more rock. And a little bit more soil. So let's put that down there, actually. Okay, in informal fern says, I think if you use the heat map, it should show where they are able to escape. Thanks for that tip. I know about that, actually. Um, I just didn't check that before they escaped. So yeah, that's a great tip, actually. Okay, I just want to blend out this terrain a little bit, just to make it look nicer. And... Let's see if the snow leopards are back inside their habitat. Nope, one jumped out again. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure where the other one is right now. If they go, if we can get them back inside the habitat, then we can check the heat map.
Okay, meanwhile, let um let's get some plants in here. So the Okapi live in Africa. And we'll sort this by tropical. Okay, maybe a few of these. And some of these tree ferns. Sausage tree. Okay, what other kind of trees can we get? That's a big tree. Maybe we'll go with this one. And, okay. Um, oh no, our snow leopard's still sitting here. Okay, there's one in here. So let's check that heat map really quick. Okay, it looks like there's several places where they could jump out. So maybe this barrier just needs to be a little bit taller. Okay, and I, oh, okay. There's still a few places where they can jump out. So let's bump that up a little bit more. Okay, and that looks good. Okay, and we can finish decorating this Okapi habitat. I would like a couple of those trees. And, oh, that's huge, actually. Oh, no, they just escaped again. Okay, let's check the heat map again. One more time. <laughs> okay, look at that. We just got the bronze star. Okay. Um, yeah, I actually do want some of these, just the smaller version. Okay. And yeah, probably some of these too. And what else could we get? Um, the banana palm. Okay, and this is looking pretty crowded. There's a lot of plants in here, but maybe we could fit just a couple palm trees too. And yeah, maybe one more palm tree out in this corner. 
Okay, so let's see how uh, they're doing in here. Okay, so we're at 38% coverage for the plants in there. That looks good. And let's work on this snow leopard habitat. And let's actually check uh, what goals we're going to be working on next. So we need to have at least eight habitat species in the zoo. And we need to build a suspended gondola transport ride and have 600 guests. Okay, so let's check the terrain here first. And it looks like they need a little bit more short grass. So let's paint that up here. And I did not mean to paint that out there. Um, <laughs> okay. They need less sand and they need more snow. So let's get some snow in here. Okay, that looks good for their terrain. And we could go with some plants. Okay, so for this one we need Asia and we need, this is Taiga. Yeah, let's get some of these flowers. These look nice. It's getting just a little dark again. Um, maybe we can fix that. So, okay. Okay. That should make the uh, day, the night time a little bit shorter. Okay, we could get some of these pine trees. And let's see what other tree options we have. Yeah, let's get a few of these. And uh, maybe some of this one. Okay, and that is actually too many plants right there. So let's just get rid of that tree. And maybe some of this moss. Okay, we might need to delete another tree or maybe some of these flowers. Okay, it's still, still too much. We'll delete one more tree. Um, actually, let's delete some more of these flowers because I think I want one, I do want one more tree in here. Okay, that is good for their plant coverage. We're at 19% there. Okay, so we need to have at least eight habitat species in the zoo and we need to build a suspended gondola transport ride. So I think we'll work on the transport ride first 
just to make sure we have room for that, let's also check what type of animals we can adopt. Okay, so we can get aardvarks. Um, I think the barred tapir would be a good choice, so let's get a couple of those. Um, we'll get that one and that one. Ooh, we can get Bengal tigers. That would be awesome. Indian rhinos, mandrels, grizzly bears, saltwater crocodiles, ostrich, Chinese pangolin. And I want to see these bongos. Okay, so these also live in the tropical area of Africa. It doesn't look like there's any animals that can be housed with them. What about the okapi? Okay. I just wanted to see if there were any animals we could house together. But let's get a Bengal tiger, maybe. Okay. And that was almost all of our conservation credits. I kind of want grizzly bears. They're a little bit expensive. <laughs> We'll adopt an ostrich and the pangolin. Okay, it looks like we got a girl pangolin. So let's also get that one. Okay, so that is how many is that? That's four more exhibit animals. And I think we'll go for the bongos and the grizzly bears also. Okay, now it's raining. So, um, I don't actually know where the <laughs> transport rides are. Here they are. Suspended gondola? Is this one, is this the one we need? Build a suspended gondola transport ride. I have no idea how to build this. Station with left entry and left exit. Station with left entry and right exit. Right entry and left exit. Right entry and right exit. I wish it wasn't raining so I could actually see what I'm doing here. Um, maybe if we just speed this up a little bit, it will stop raining. I don't know if speeding it up makes the rain go away faster or not. <laughs> okay. Okay, it stopped raining, though. Oh, no, it is still raining. It's just a lot brighter now. So, I guess this gondola ride should go down here, but maybe it should go also go up and kind of just go right through the middle of the zoo. 
because the the point of a gondola ride is to kind of help you climb mountains, right? But we actually don't have a very big area for this zoo. If you can see the white highlighted area, that it's only this square here. So now I kind of wish that the gondola was on the other side, actually, but I think I think this will work. If we put it, the station up here, we can have it come down, and maybe it should go up this way. Okay, so let's, um, let's try to build that. So I think we want the right entry and right exit, and we'll kind of turn it like that. Whoa. Okay. Now we are in the track editor. Does it have to come around to the back side here? This is going to be difficult. Station. I thought maybe we could get a couple station blocks in here. Oh, wait. Okay, so if we click on this, this arrow here, does that do anything? It doesn't look like it. So this is actually much harder for me because I've never played Planet Coaster. So I imagine if I had played that game, then I would know how to do this. But maybe we can kind of drag this around. Okay, so that makes it longer. And that makes it steeper. And how do we build it? Okay, build. There we go. There should be some way that I can kind of curve this around, right? Okay, this does not seem possible. This, um, <laughs> wow. It's so high up here. I can't even get it to come down here. And I can't get this to turn either. Okay. You know what, guys? I'm actually going to end it there for today. I had a lot of fun playing with you all today. And I think this would be a good place to pick up next time so that we can work on building this. Um... Okay, wow. <laughs> um, hi, thank you for the raid, Slummy Log. Thank you so much. I was just about to end my... Um... I was just about to end my stream, but I guess we'll keep going for a little bit. Uh, thank you for all the love, guys. So I was actually trying to build this uh, gondola transport ride. I'm glad you love Planet Zoo. Thank you for the follow, Slummy Log. So what we're doing here is we're working in the 
Uh, thank you for the follow, Angel's version. Or is that Angle's version? We're working in uh, this zoo, the Myers Rainforest Conservation Project, and we just earned the bronze star here. So we're actually working on the silver objectives now. I was going to build this gondola transport ride. As you can see, I kind of started this here, but um, I actually have no idea how to build the, the tracked rides in this game. I haven't really done any of that. So I think we'll just work on building, uh, putting some animal habitats in. And I did adopt some of the animals here. So I got Bard's Taper, I got a Bengal Tiger, I got a Bongo, I got two Chinese Pangolin and a Common Ostrich. So let's actually uh, look at the market again. Maybe we can adopt some more animals. I would like the orangutan. And we have a male ostrich, so let's actually get both the female ostriches. And what else can we get? Maybe the flamingos. I kind of think we have enough animals to start here. So I don't know what to do about this. I have no idea how to build this. Let me just show you guys what I was trying to do here. So if I, I figured out I can make this longer or shorter. I figured out I can bring it up or down, but not very much. And I have no idea how to turn this so that it actually goes up that way. So I think we'll just get rid of that for now. And let's find some more places for animal habitats. So we have Okapi here. We have snow leopards here. I do kind of want to put some animal right down here. So let's see if we can get a path down this way. And maybe we'll make that a little wider. Okay, it's looking like it might be a little too steep. I'm just trying to get rid of that. There we go. What if we, okay, so if we go from that direction, it, it works actually. And then it would be great actually to have some flamingos right on this side, since there is that water pool there. Okay, and I've been using this corrugated fence, so I think we'll keep using that. Watch out for the toxic waste hiding all over. I, I did take care of that off stream actually. So yeah, I saw all the toxic uh, waste barrels. I think I got them all, but I, I could have missed them. So you never know. <laughs> okay, and let's... Um, Let's make this habitat for the tapir. And we can get this small gate here. Let's check the Zoopedia for tapir. Okay, so this only needs to be 3.3 feet. Uh, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal in the world is actually a cat. I also like frogs, so those are my favorite animals. I would say in Planet Zoo, I definitely like the tigers. I, I do really like the white Bengal tiger. What about you? What's your favorite animal slummy log? Uh, 
have you seen the sand cat in Planet Zoo? I did see the sand cat and I thought it looked a little bit weird actually. Do you like how the sand cat looks? I thought its um, face was a little too like wide maybe. That could just be me. I don't I don't have the uh, expansion that has the sand cats in it, so I've just seen pictures. You can just call me Slummy or Andy. I'm a fan of the penguins and the giraffes. Okay. I yeah, I I just put a giraffe in the last zoo I worked on, so that was pretty cool. I the giraffes are a favorite for sure. I think we can move these tapir to quarantine. The bands on its arm make me think that it has tattoos and is from the rough side of the streets. Giraffes, number one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I just thought the, the face looked a little bit strange on the sand cat, but yeah. I See, I don't know. I don't know that much about the sand cat in real life either. I don't know if it naturally has those stripes on its arms or not. And we'll just build another habitat right here, and I think we can get some flamingos in here. Um, this part along the back here is pretty steep. They do. So they, they do have the, the stripes on their arms. That's, well, that's good that they were accurate, I guess, but... Um, maybe we could, if we can get this in here, and they are smaller than house cats. I didn't know that, actually. Another animal that I really like in Planet Zoo is the fennec foxes. They actually have those in the zoo near me, which is the Phoenix Zoo. Um, they have fennec foxes at that zoo, and those are always really cool to see whenever I visit the zoo. So I like I like the fennec foxes a lot too. Okay, it looks like one of our tapir passed quarantine. Let's just get a habitat gate over on this side and we can edit this down. Doesn't have to be that tall. And maybe right about here we could fit a keeper hut, if it will fit in this little space. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's move the tape bear in. And we can call this Exhibit Taper, and this one Flamingos. You know what, I, I don't know if the Flamingos are gonna be able to climb up here or not. I think we could probably change this to a null barrier. And we just ran out of money. So we're in the negatives now. Okay, let's check on the finances really quick. Okay, it looks like we have never made money in this zoo. You know why? Because I forgot the donation uh, barrels. How long have you been streaming? I So I started streaming about a year ago, and I um, 
it was actually back in January of last year that I started. But I did take a little break, so I haven't really streamed at all since July. And then just last week, I guess, I started again. So I've streamed uh, about four or five times since last week, and I'm really enjoying it again. So, yeah. Okay, maybe we can take out a small loan. I'm just going to get $1,000 right now and place these, uh, what are they called? The donation barrels. I think they are here. Um, finance. Yeah, here they are. Okay, so if we can get a couple of these around then hopefully we can start making some money in this zoo because I totally forgot about these. So we'll get one up there. Uh, one there. And one right there as well. And I think the guests donate more money if you if you educate them. So let's also get some signs to put in here. And I just want to put this sign on the wall here and on the wall there. Okay, and we'll change that to a copy. That's pretty neat. Well, thank you for saying so. I, yeah, I I have another hobby, which is sewing. I like to sew quilts, actually. So I when I took a break from streaming, I was sewing a lot. And yeah, I'm glad I, I got back into streaming, actually. Okay, so let's just get some signs for the snow leopards. And it looks like that one doesn't have power, so maybe we'll just delete that one for now. Okay, and we don't have enough money. Again. Okay. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the making money aspect of this game. If you like sewing, why don't you stream that? I have a friend that crochets for a stream. That is a really cool idea, actually. I have not put that much thought into doing that, um, but I definitely could. I think that would be a lot of fun. Okay, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit, and hopefully we do actually start making money. It looks like we're in the positive already, so we just needed those. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just saw the taper escape right out of the corner of my eye. Right there. Okay, uh, let's check how tall this fence needs to be, actually. 3.3 feet. So if we go in and edit this it's four feet everywhere we could raise that up oh we don't have enough money to raise it up um yeah let's look at the heat map again so it looks like they can jump out there only we just need to make a little bit more money and we can actually start doing stuff in this zoo.
So I've noticed in this game, if I think this is the problem here, if the terrain is higher on the outside of the fence, it lets them jump out for some reason when it should only be the terrain that's inside the fence that is calculated. But I think that's the problem right here is this terrain outside is too high and that's what's letting them escape. Uh, let's make sure we have the vet coming. And maybe we will just need to take out another loan. Yeah. Okay, so let's just raise that up a little bit and we'll check the heat map again. Okay, so it looks like an extra 0.4 feet fix that right there. Okay, so let's actually set up the habitat for these guys. I just took out a loan, so we have a little bit more money to work with. Um, they're probably going to need a shelter in here. And I, I still had that filtered for the snow leopard, so let's change that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the wrong food trough. Okay. And they actually need a little bit of water area in here, too. So we can do that. Uh, we'll just give them something like that. And let's smooth this out. Okay. And then as for the terrain, we'll, um, they need more grass and they need less soil. So if we just get this grass in here, and that is good for them. Okay, let's actually uh, blend this out with the long grass, too. Okay, and we'll do something like that. And then lastly, plants. So South and Central America and the biome is, uh, let's go with tropical. Okay, we can get some of these in here and uh, just make sure random rotations on. And what else? Probably some of these tree ferns. A Swiss cheese plant. Yeah, we'll put that in there. And maybe one of these tamarind trees. That looks nice. Okay, and we'll get some of these plumeria flowers. And I'm not sure how much more we need. We're already at 52% coverage here. Um, maybe just like 
one or two of those. And I do like these purple flowers. All the guests are standing on the hill back here to look at them. Um, yeah, maybe a, a couple palm trees as well. And I think we could, uh, let's change this to align to water. We could have some lily pads over there. That looks nice. Okay. I think they're pretty happy, except they're just miss missing enrichment. Um, but we have to research that. Okay, and this keeper hut down here doesn't have power, actually. So let's fix that as well. And where do we need this? If we put it back here, that might work. Okay, it's um, kind of sitting on this little outcropping right here, and it's kind of floating. So I think we'll just uh, move that a little bit. Let's get rid of this path first. Okay, that's probably going to bother the guests right there, but I'm not sure where else to put it. Okay, and that loan's paid back. Let's... Um, Can we pay off like $10,000? Oh, that's okay. Uh, whoops. I was just changing the yearly payments. I guess we can't really pay it off ahead of time. I mean, maybe if we got the transformer down here in this kind of empty space, but I guess we could build a path back through here. Uh, let's make this a staff path. And um, we'll just move this push a little bit so it's not right in the path and this one can go to that side okay there's sort of a big rock right there that's fine so if we move this down here then it should stop bothering people and we're also going to need a water treatment facility So let's just get that on the other side here. Okay, and it is covering both of those water areas, so that's good. Okay, next I think we'll put the flamingos in. So we need to have eight different species in the zoo. Let's adopt all these flamingos and send them to quarantine. And 
I kind of just want to um, just blend this into the, I guess it can't go any lower than that. I was thinking we'll just blend this into the hill and have the, uh, the barrier just meet the terrain nicely, but. Okay, what other animals could we get? I think we'll do the Chinese pangolin next, since uh, those are pretty easy since they need a pretty small habitat. And they might be able to fit, well, that looks a little bit small, but we could fit them maybe in this corner right here. So let's actually uh, start building that barrier also. And maybe we'll just curve it around this way. And there's kind of a steep cliff right there. So I don't know if we actually want to go all the way up that cliff. Let's bring it down like this. Okay, that looks fine to me. And we'll just get a gate and let's grab the path tool. Okay, our flamingos passed quarantine. So let's move them in. And let's see how big this is actually. Okay, that is really big actually. That is 9,000 square feet right there. So, um, I'll, I'll just leave it like that for now. Let's actually check on the flamingos. So the first thing I wanna check here is the heat map to see where they can escape. Okay, it looks like they can jump out there and they can walk out pretty much everywhere else. Okay. So let's edit this barrier and let's just make it a little bit taller to see if we can get rid of the jumpable escape point. And we'll change that to corrugated right there. Okay, that fixed those areas and change these ones to corrugated fence. Okay, good. Now there's no more escapable points for them. And let's uh, change this filter to the greater flamingo. Okay, so we'll get a food bowl for them and they can drink the water in their pond. They also need a shelter. Um, that's a little big. Maybe we'll get a couple of those. And let's see if we can fit a shelter back here. So maybe we'll just put it right there. And I think I actually want this one. It has a little bit of a higher roof on it. And maybe we'll put one on the other side as well.
Okay, let's see how they're doing. That only covered 56% of their shelter needs, but... Um, hmm. I guess we could probably fit a few more of these. Oh no, we're out of money again. Okay, wow, we actually have not made money any year still. It looked like we were making a little bit of money for a little while. I thought with the donation bins we'd be doing good. Okay, uh, looks like we just had one of a, a snow leopard mature. I didn't even know we had a baby. So let's look at this. Okay, so we could actually trade this snow leopard for $7,300, or we could release it to the wild for 300 conservation credits. And I think I'm going <laughs> to trade it for the money. because that's what we need right now. Okay, so let's uh let's actually get a few more of these in here. And we'll just do another one right here. Okay, that should give them lots of shelter space. We're still only at 59%. So let's, uh, it looks like they can't even go under that one. So let's just get rid of that. And now they can jump out here because they can actually get on top of these. Okay, so we just had to raise that up a little bit. And, yeah. I can never seem to fit enough shelter for the flamingos in this game. It seems like they really need a lot. Maybe it's just the way I have always designed their habitats because I like to give them a lot of water space. And it doesn't leave very much room on land for shelters for them. But we could fix their terrain also. So it looks like they need more rock. So let's start painting that in. And they actually need more soil as well. Okay, that's good for their terrain. And did we look at, we don't have any enrichment unlocked for them. So let's just uh, decorate this with some plants. Okay, so the flamingos live in Africa, Asia, and Europe. I think we'll go with the tropical biome and also the aquatic. And I'm used to thinking of flamingos living in Africa. So let's take a look at these plants. Okay, and one of our tapirs just got sick. Uh, let's get some of these plants in here. And some of the tree fern.
Okay, that is already half of their plant coverage, but maybe we could get one of these trees. Actually, we can get away with three. Okay, I do like this papyrus plant. Okay, and that was actually uh, too many plants for them. So let's just, uh, let's get rid of a couple of those. And maybe that one. I kind of do want some of these reeds too. So let's try not to go over their limit. Okay, that was one too many. Okay, so that is the flamingo habitat. Um, let's call the vet over here. And let's just make sure we have another vet. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how the flamingo habitat looks. So let's also get some signs down here. Um, media devices, here we go. Okay, so we'll just put that right in the middle and we'll get a speaker under it. And then over here, I think we'll place the sign right here and we'll get a speaker. And we are out of money again. Okay, so we can put that on flamingos. Change that to flamingos and change that to bard's taper. Okay. So just looking at the finances, it does look like we're improving at least because last year we made th or we lost $3,000. This year we only lost 1,400. Many guests think the tickets are underpriced, so let's put these up. Okay, and let's call our mechanic over here. And we almost have 600 guests in the zoo. I just want to change how this barrier is actually because I think the the pangolins only need about 3,000 square feet. And let's just check that in the Zoopedia. So pangolins. So for three, they actually only need 2,000 square feet. And maybe we should take out another loan. So we're still paying off this loan, but we could take out a $1,000 loan or a $50,000 loan. Um, you know what? Maybe when we pay back this loan, we'll actually be in the green. So, okay, whoa. So last year we paid 5,500 on loans. And 
and we could also maybe put some shops in here so we can start making money that way. We're going to have another baby snow leopard. Whoa. <laughs> I clicked on that camera right as the snow leopard was jumping. Wow, look at that. <laughs> okay, I think she's getting ready to have her babies. Look, there's one. Wow, so cute. So his name is Og Ogdbish. Cool name. And he is a bronze. Uh, he has a bronze ribbon. Very nice. Okay, I'm actually very happy with how this area down here looks. It's like a nice little oasis in this rock quarry. So if you haven't seen the whole map that we're working on, it's it's a quarry. <laughs> it's like a rock mine. And it's kind of a crazy map to build on. But I think we could get pangolins right in that corner here. We could definitely fit another animal here. Uh, we can have a nice big habitat back here, actually. So this is a nice space with a little bit of water in it. Yeah, so let's see if we can get the path to go up there, and we might need some stairs. Oh, I forgot. We're out of money. We can't do anything. So I would like to raid someone else since uh, Slummy raided me today. I just don't know how to do that, actually. So I'm just I'm just looking in my stream settings, actually, because I, I would like to raid someone. I've never done it before. Do I have to do it from the, like, from the Twitch website? Because I just have Twitch Studio open. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to do it. I'll look it up after this stream. I'll try to figure that out. Um, okay. So we really need to work on making some money in this zoo. And I think I will uh, leave that problem for a future me. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And thank you for the raid. That was lots of fun. I will see you guys next time. Um, and hopefully I will be streaming soon again. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.